All right, legal case updates. I'll try to keep my composure, but it may not be easy. <laughs> anyway, this is the crap the court has now come back with. You're not going to be able to read this crap, but I'm not. I had a hard time reading it too. So anyway, this is the docket order filed by the magistrate judge. They call them that apparently do the work for the federal, the preliminary work for the federal, the official federal judge. Um, so it basically says uh, here, no one appeared. So neither me nor Joneser showed up for the conference. Okay, uh, and now it says here dismissal is recommended. Then not they crossed out Rule 16 conference reset to. They crossed that out. Even the form doesn't provide them the option of saying dismissal is recommended. But they're going to write it in just to play their game. All right. Then number two, it says the above listed parties appeared and a docket control order was entered. Okay, so that's not checked. All right, anyway, and this is the comment. Because Mr. Mosier, well, sorry, that's my name, uh, did not appear, appearance in person was required as a sanction against Mr. Mosier for recording hearings by telephone with Judge Hittner and Judge whoever, I never recorded any other judge, modifying them and playing them on YouTube. Now the crazy insane irony of this is just so fucking bizarre. I am suing to stop people from manipulating, modifying them. Okay, I mean that's another, that's a tricky word, isn't it? And so here's a court saying, um, the modification I did, number one, didn't change anything they said. All verbal statements were intact, unedited. Um, but they still use this word, modifying them. Um, and I did it in exact protest because they dismissed my claim that this is not appropriate behavior. That's the whole point of the video, and they missed that, of course. But isn't this ironic that you can't record, apparently? There's no rule that I read in the rules. They didn't cite a rule I violated here. You'll see no rule cited. That, you know, this is an obligation that the court imposes on litigants all the time. Where's your citation? Where's your court case? Where's your rule citing? And no citing of a rule I violated, yet I'm being sanctioned. Isn't that curious? <laughs> sanctioned for what exactly? Speaking the damn truth? Oh, you're not allowed to speak the truth, especially about a government official. What would that be like? You know, to make public servants accountable? How dare I? Accountable to the true recording of their behavior? A true, honest display of their conducting of their umpiring duties? We shouldn't record the umpire? Because somehow that's going to pervert justice. That's not in the interest, the public interest, to record umpires and how they conduct their business for the public as public servants, as paid public servant employees of the United States federal government. We shouldn't record their behavior in a public forum where they are going to decide the fate of other people and tell other people what rules they have violated. No, it should be done in secret, of course because that way they can twist and bend the rules, that way they can cheat us, the public. All right, this is a disgrace, Francis Stanley, Judge Francis, I think the name's Stanley. You're a disgrace, you're a despicable disgrace. I'm going to file, if, this, if your dismissal recommendation goes through, I haven't gotten a copy of this, by the way, in, in paper form. All right, it's now seven days later. I have still not received a copy of this. Uh, no, it's uh, six days later. Um, uh, and, and so what? If this recommendation is held, of course I'm going to rub my appeals court decision in your face that tells you, okay, that my request for accommodation is reasonable and you have to have a reasonable excuse not to accommodate me. You can't just sit there and throw some bogus we feel like he needs to be sanctioned because he spoke his fucking mind on, on, on YouTube. I mean, what the hell is that? And you're sitting there telling me you're going to protect free speech this way? This is, this is a protecting free speech? And all you jackasses who have been arguing with me? Oh, you're over here. Um, this is, th these people should have the right to do this? To censor this? Oh, come on, please. 
Um, so where are we? Uh, yeah, and so first I'm going to, I'll, I'll, of course, file a motion for reconsideration. I'll rub the, the appeals court decision in your face. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to file, okay, for a, a, a claim of misconduct. Because this is damn misconduct here. You're not only violating my First Amendment rights, okay, you're sitting there and directly um, uh, ignoring a Fifth Circuit appeals court decision telling you that you have to come up with more than this. You have to make a case why you need me in Texas for a conference hearing. And until you do a conference hearing, by the way, um, you know, I think it says on here, the, the time. Yeah, look at this. Tape number. Begin, end. Now, isn't this an irony? Tape number. Begin, end. Tape number. Tape. So they can record it, but I can't record it. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Why would that be possible? Why is it okay for them to tape it? And why would they tape it anyway? Oh, that's right, because most of the time it takes place by telephone. That's why they tape it. All right? This is just such bogus bullcrap. <laughs> you know, damn. Um, this is justice in the United States of America. This is what we, the people, get from the system. Absolute crap. Crap they can't even have printed. They can't even accomplish that. They can't even have somebody print this in legible text. All right, enough of a fucking rant. But damn these people. You know, I mean, really, and I'm not supposed to be pissed off. I'm not supposed to get on YouTube and, and complain, right? Two years, $800. The, Mo Joneser hasn't paid me the money the appeals court says he owes me. Okay, so I got to fight for that, too. All right, this is just garbage. So I got to pay whatever, a thousand bucks when you add up the paperwork and all the rest of the crap. Two years of my freaking life to get this kind of crap from you people. I mean, this is just such bullshit. Okay, now I've said enough. God damn it, America.